All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is 26 March 2022. Today, let's talk about this Ethereum Shadow Merge. Uh, this came to my attention, and here's a little snippet of a video of the Road to Ethereum 2.0 posted by the ETH Denver guys of them talking about the parallel test nets and uh, basically how they're kind of going to merge. There's a Shadow Merge, basically have a proof of stake network and a proof of work and they're kind of working together so they become stable and you can read about it over here too kind of a shadow forking and uh ethereum readies this network for proof of stake merge so they're out there doing it uh it's a long running established test net used by devs for years to try out their d apps and other ethereum projects it is hours away from upgrading to full proof of stake so they're out there doing this shadow merge and uh, let's just watch this little video and then let you guys go from there. It is last month that they posted this video, but um, but uh, they are actually doing this shadow merge. They're out there trying to make sure stuff works. And uh, alongside of the proof of work, we've seen our last shadow fork that the two networks will stay connected. Transactions from this network will also be executed on our fork since they might be ordered differently. The state of network will diverge over time. Pretty cool. One chain goes to full proof of stake and sort of discards the miners. The other chain keeps the miners. And so we have two identical networks at the point of genesis, which then diverge, which means we might see how the D apps and everything else running on the Goality network is mirrored on the new POS chain, proof of stake chain. All right. Let's just go through this real quick. All right, there's the airdrop. They just might merge this. You won't even know what's going on in this. So the making of this merge interesting in itself, while also showing proof of stake is becoming very real in ETH after years and years of research and battles with all the math, and now makes this possible. Let's see. All right, so I just I just saw this. So stuff is moving along. And let's go to the video and just see if I can play this. Hopefully you can hear it. So then from there, you just want to build this stuff out and actually see it run in, run in these testing environments, which is where we are right now. And the Beacon chain has been has been running since what, December 2020. And so are we expecting to have like two parallel parallel chains for a while? Like, what, I mean, what, is that, what does that look like in practice? How long, like how many months does this take to get everybody to the new chain? Um... Yeah, well, so the way it works, right, is that we will have a proof of work chain and a proof of stake chain. And so we have like the mainnet proof of stake chain with the beacon chain. And then uh, there'll be, well, so there are also proof of stake test nets. There are also proof of work test nets. And I guess when, I, when I'm talking about these testing environments, this is what I mean is that we can basically do some like, you know, dry runs ahead of actual mainnet merge. Uh, and those will happen, you know, those are ongoing and they'll be happening, you know, with sort of more seriousness in the coming months, like one to two months, like soon, TM. Well, and the entire idea of the merge is that we're, we're, we've taken the Beacon Chain software, we've taken like the ETH1 software, Geth type software, and the solution that we have is basically they're both going to be running alongside each other, but uh, kind of it, talking together. Um, so from, from kind of users of Ethereum, like not much is actually going to be changing. Um, just under the hood, now Geth is talking, or now, you know, the execution layer is talking to the Beacon Chain. And, and vice versa. Okay. Now, ETH2 is coming is practically a meme at this point. So it looks like they are trying to shoot for June, but as in anything software, software related, you just never know. And they are de definitely standing up these parallel networks for testing. So uh, we'll see. This is interesting. Again, this is from February 18th, uh, 2022. So when is it coming? <laughs> Uh, w when it's ready. I mean, with this kind of thing, like Ethereum is running, it's this massive uh, ecosystem, and we have to make sure it's done right. So these, these things take a lot of time, the security we got to think about. And with all these test scenarios, we're trying to, you know, we've got the spec, and we know the happy paths, and we even know some of the bad things that could happen. And we want to make sure that when those things do happen, they happen the right way. But yeah. as Alex said and Kamen said, we're really close. You know, we're, we're in the test net stages now. We're ironing out the bugs, and we're getting really close to having it done. Uh, how can devs prepare for it? Like, what are the what are the main challenges you're anticipating? Well, I think that um, it, it, there's a lot of different developers in the Ethereum ecosystem. So, if you're uh, let's talk about the difficulty time bomb for a minute. We keep pushing that out. Is that like the hard deadline? Like, will that be what finally pushes everybody into this? Like, to, to make the migration? 
So it just so happens that the one we have right now is pretty uh, auspiciously timed because I think most people involved, you know, with developing this stuff would say, you know, yeah, like you said, Q3 or Q2 timeline for the merge. And that's when the next difficulty bomb will start going off, right? And it'll increase and increase. Uh, how are we going to pull data? Does it change? Okay, again, they mentioned June again. So we'll see what happens here. It's good to see this. I didn't know anything about this shadow merging and all this stuff going on. Again, uh, it's not on the top of my radar, but it's just interesting to see what is happening. All right, so there you go. Shadow merge Ethereum. They have test nets out there. And go ahead and Google. You'll find more articles on it. And this video is from ETH Denver, E-T-H-D-E-N-V-E-R. And it was posted, like I said, February 18, 2022. All right, guys, keep your heads up. So maybe this thing might be coming sooner than later. You just never know. I always know software. I have been in software all my life. And things just never go as planned. Uh, bugs come up. Issues come up. Deploying comes up. And how are they going to support this? Stuff like that. Because you got guys developing. And then you got to guy, have guys DevOpsing and supporting the product that is out in the field. All right. Go forth, guys. Do great things. Thought I'd bring this up. If you knew about this shadow merge, let me know. If you didn't, well, now you do. And do some research. And if you're mining, this may impact you. You may have to be switching to another coin sooner than later. Maybe June, maybe July, maybe never, maybe December. You just don't know. I don't know. And uh, again, this was February 18th. And then this other article was March 24th, which is two days ago. So stuff is moving. They are out there uh, definitely having the test nets working, trying to run them side by side with the proof of work and the proof of state. All transparent right now to the users, but it just may flick a switch and boom. POS is on. You just don't know. I don't know. If you know, let me know. <laughs> All right. I'm out, guys. Go forth. Do great things. Enjoy your weekend. Talk to you.